What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be telling you guys how my 1996 Chevy 1500 broke down during the biggest snowstorm I've ever plowed. So we got out the storm and everything's going pretty smooth. I could tell that about midway through the storm my truck was being very in a way loose I guess. Um, and this wasn't anything too abnormal because it had a cracked frame it was an old crappy truck with an old crappy plow, but it felt extra crappy that day is all I can say. Um, so around hours like 11 or 12, we had just finished up with a house. We're on our way to another house, and on a side note, we are on back roads, uh, residentials, and none of these roads had been plowed yet, and it was a really big storm. Our airport reported that it was 14 inches. So basically what happened is I took a left and started heading down this pretty steep hill that ran for two, three blocks, just straight down. And at this point, I'm just cruising, just trying to get down with the route. Uh, we only had a few left, like three or four. Midway down the hill, I kind of feel my truck give a violent like jerk and shake and all of a sudden my driver's side just slams down the front driver's side slams down i hear a grinding kind of a i mean just not good noises you want to hear when you're driving a truck i jump out so after the truck slammed down i put it in park i jumped out and looked at it and obviously my tire sideways inside of the wheel well and two of my brothers are following me at this point they jumped out and kind of everybody just looked around to see what was going on. And as you can see in this clip, this is what happened. The wheel, the holes beveled out, a stud snapped, a brake line snapped. Just everything that could go wrong went wrong. And when this all happened, I was just so tired and just wanting to get done with the route that I really didn't care because I expected my truck to break. Um, I'll insert a few clips of the frame of it. Super rusty, it had cracks in it. The frame was broke, so if anything, I thought the frame would snap before like the wheel would fall off. So as I mentioned, my two brothers were following me in another truck, and they ran back to my shop, which is about two miles away from where I broke down at, to get a strap or a chain to pull me to at least the side of the road because I was driving dead center of the road where it happened. And these two guys come out with a jack, and jack my truck up at this point my brothers are back one of my buddies is back we rob a few lug nuts off the other tires throw my tire back on coast it down the hill and at the end of the hill there was a small parking lot that we pulled into and parked it for the night hoping it wouldn't get towed we ended up talking to the somebody at least who worked at the building i guess she said it was fine um so we went home Went to sleep after we finished the last few accounts. Woke up the next morning. My buddy and I went back to drive the truck back about two miles to our warehouse. And he actually ended up driving it back. And what happened on the drive back was we had, I think, two lug nuts that were actually doing something. And one that wouldn't go back on. So it was pulling him. And, I mean, he had no brakes. He almost sideswiped a cop. And to stop, he had to just put the plow down and virtually hit something to stop the truck. Well, we got it back to the warehouse, and I guess it's time for that truck to retire. I don't think it's going to be plowing anymore. I'm going to pull the plow off, possibly put on another one of my trucks, and give that truck to my buddy. I don't know what he's going to do, but it is what it is. So that's how my truck broke down. Um, I do have a new truck and a new plow that I'll upload a video of me installing that and yeah thanks for watching